for that breakthrough, the supernatural breakthrough that he has given unto you. Worship his holy name. Give him all the praise tonight. Is that all you can do for God? Let your soul magnify him tonight. Let the praise come from within you. Let the worship come from within your soul. The psalmist says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Are you blessing him tonight with all the bread that you have in you? Are you worshiping him tonight with all the might that you have? Give him all the glory tonight. Give him all the praise. Give him all the adoration.
the name. At the mention of that name, every name must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Worship the name of Jesus. Worship the name of Jesus. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Lord, we worship you this evening. Give him the praise of the Lord. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. 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 I want to turn to the person on your left and on your right and say, Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. And turn to that same person and say that it is my time. It is my time. Do you believe it? It is my time for breakthrough. It is my time. Amen.
You are Lord. 
besides him. He is the ancient of days, the great I am that I am, the mighty man in battle. And he's been doing great wonders in our life since this revival program started. Father Lord, we thank you because you have called us out to bless us this evening. Mighty Father, we release ourselves unto thee and we pray, Mighty Father, that you will touch every one of us tonight. Father, we pray that nobody here will live here the same. That tonight, oh God, something new and something tangible will happen to us. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Before you have your seats, can you please shake the person to your right, to your left, and say, welcome to the presence of revival. Welcome to the presence of grace. Tonight, the Lord is going to do something great. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. 
We want to use this opportunity to recognize those that are worshiping with us for the first time. If you are here today, and today is your first time to fellowship with us, could you please signify by raising your hand because we want to bring our warm greetings to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, could you please, a step of faith, can you rise on your feet? Amen. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, what do we do? In the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you. the Lord. Um, brothers and sisters, we are very glad and delighted that you all are here today. And we prepared, the Lord has prepared to bless you, and we pray that your stay here today is not going to be in vain. The Lord will make you to remember this day for good. Amen? We still need to talk to our friends, our colleagues, our neighbors about this program. Amen? We are expecting much more than this number. So, I know we're going to do that. Amen? So, please, let's see how we can publicize, talk to people around us, because God has really prepared to bless us in a mighty way. And we will not be the only partakers. We need to get people around us to come and, you know, partake in this blessing, and um, we don't want to be selfish. So, tomorrow, I want us to prepare. Let's bring our friends, our neighbors, so that they too will come here and be blessed in the name of Jesus. So, for the benefit of our invitees, I want us to have a recap of the programs here. This is Deeper Life Bible Church. Um, today, we are here because of a mighty outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen? The Lord, the revival is in the air. The Lord of revival is here, and he will touch us. He will revive us. So, we are here today, Friday. is usually our Friday uh, revival program, which is a regular church service uh, program, but we are not having it today. This is a time of revival. Then uh, apart from Fridays, we are here again on Sunday for our Sunday worship service. Our Friday revival service starts by 6.20 p.m. Then our Sunday worship service begins by 9 a.m. But before then, we are encouraged to be here by 8.30 so that we'll get ourselves prepared into the presence of the Lord. Then on Monday, we have our Monday Bible study where our general superintendent ministers to us in a very powerful anointing. So every one of us, including the newcomers and those that we invite, we are expected to attend these weekly meetings because when we attend, we are there in the presence of the Lord. The Bible wants us to be there that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Praise the Lord. And uh, we also know that this is the time of our fasting and our prayer program, which started January 1st, and we're taking it through to January 31st. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if you've not been keen into this um, teleconference that starts by 9 p.m., we're already missing a lot. You have to avail yourself of that opportunity. You must be there. 9 p.m., 10 p.m. every night. If you are not connecting, you don't know what you are losing. You don't know what you are missing. The Lord has prepared to bless his people. And you have to make an effort. And that effort to get to River Jordan, to place your leg on that Jordan for it to dry up, is the time you connect through that teleconference. Tonight is another date. Amen? Please don't miss it. Try, no matter how busy you are, to key into that program. That program is designed to bless us 
to refresh our souls, to revive us, and the Lord is ready to pour out his miracles upon our lives in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Without further ado, we want to go to what we have to do now, and that is the time for us to listen to the word of God. So tonight, God has prepared his minister. Amen? He's a mighty man of God. God has been using him in many places. God has been using him, a very powerful deliverance minister, a very powerful speaker, and tonight will be your night. Amen? Amen. So I want you to be prepared. I want you to be expect, expecting because there is going to be great expectations tonight, and our hope will not be cut off. Our expectations will not perish. Amen? So tonight, as you prepare, you see, the miracle will come through the word. As he breaks the bread of life, you will be attentive so that you will know the time your own miracle will be in the air so that you'll be able to grab it, so that you'll be able to catch it. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want us to join me as we give a standing ovation as we welcome to the podium our guest speaker for tonight, Pastor Amatosha, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, let's be seated. I want to appreciate uh, the Lord for our overseer that the Lord has uh, been using to mentor us and to be a blessing to us. And these are words coming from the depth of my heart. And the Lord that has raised him up to groom us will continue to use him in Jesus' name. And as we're here, we're here for a blessing. I said we're here for a blessing. And you will not go back the same in Jesus' name. If you've never seen a miracle before, get ready, you will see one. There will be divine demonstration. The demonstration of his power. The demonstration of his might. The Bible says God has spoken once and twice have I had this, that power belongs unto who? Unto God. You will see that power. And uh, for these three days of glory, you will not miss your blessing. God has prepared great things for us. And those great things will flow into your life and destiny in Jesus' name. You're ready for his blessing? Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you have brought us to bless us. We know that you have prepared this month specially for us. This is the month of supernatural breakthrough. I'm asking that, Lord, as your word comes forth now, the blessing of the word will flow into every life in Jesus' name. And there will be definite manifestations. There will be the breaking forth and the breakthrough that your people desire in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself. Manifest your power. Thank you for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And then a louder yet. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to speak tonight. I'm speaking on prevailing prayer for supernatural breakthrough. Prevailing prayer for supernatural breakthrough breakthrough to prevail is to win to prevail is to be victorious to prevail is to conquer to prevail is to succeed to prevail is to overcome and i'm sure you have not just come to watch you have come to prevail i said i'm sure you have come to prevail and you will prevail in jesus name Prevailing prayer is therefore the prayer that wins. It's the prayer that succeeds over challenges of life. Whatever those challenges are, however numerous those challenges are, tonight is your night. It's the prayer that produces tangible results. You know, see, some people pray and they have nothing to show for their prayer. But tonight as you pray, there will be tangible results in Jesus' name. It's the prayer that brings supernatural breakthrough. And the breakthrough of the Lord will come your way in Jesus' name. I said it will come your way in Jesus' name. 
uh, you, you know, sometimes I want you to say amen and to really believe. Because when you believe the Lord and you're not too familiar with scriptures, you get the blessings of the Lord. We were in church and we were having a time of prayer and fasting. And as we were having the time of prayer and fasting, here was a medical doctor in the church. I didn't know that he had his medications and all those in the church. But then he said, this is, this is our own testimony. As the word was coming forth like this, she keyed into the word. And as she keyed into the word, the medications, she didn't need to use them anymore. If medical doctor can tell what has happened, you will tell what will happen. Something definite is coming your way in Jesus' name. In the time we have, because tonight you will not go back the same. You are marked for a blessing. Say, I'm marked for a blessing. You will not go back the same way in Jesus' name. I'm going to, we're just going to focus a little bit on 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 1. And we'll pick a case study there. And we'll use that case study as the Lord brings salient points unto us. 1 Samuel chapter 1. 1 Samuel chapter 1 and then from verse 1. Now, there was a certain man of Ramathan Zophim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroam, the son of Elohelahu, the son of Tobi, the son of Zoph, and Ephratite. Here he introduces us to a man, a real person. The Bible is about real people. And uh, real people with real needs. These are not imaginary needs. These are not real needs that are not, that are not real. These are real needs. Verse 2, and he had two wives. The, the name of the one was Anna, and the name of the other Penina. And Penina had children, but Anna had no children. Think about that. Here was a challenge that confronts uh, this, uh, not just this family, but this woman called Anna. And when the time was that Elkanah, verse 4 now, offered, he gave to Penina his wife and to all her sons and her daughters portions. Here, here you find the challenge. Here you find Anna on one side and you have Penina on the other side. For Anna, no child. For Penina, child one came, child two came, child three came, child four came at least. Because sons and daughters. And Anna was just there. What a challenge for her. It's like not fruitful failure. It's like what can you do? This was a challenge that came to her. And as you think about for how long she waited for a child. But a day came when her time of waiting was over. And today has come when your own time of waiting is over in Jesus name. God will visit you. Verse 5, but unto Anna he gave a worthy portion. For he loved Anna, but the Lord had shut, on, shut up her womb. And in verse 6 he tells us, and her adversary also provoked her soul for to make her fret because the Lord had shut up her womb. It, it tells us about the fact that Anna had an adversary and there is the adversary of every man in this world. The devil is the adversary. It says your adversary the devil. And the devil walks about as a roaring lion. He's looking for whom to devour. Jesus said the thief comes but not for to steal. He comes to steal to kill and to destroy. That's the agenda of the devil. Three things he does. He steals, he kills, and he destroys. But for you that you have honored the invitation for these uh, three days, you will escape. I said you will escape whatever sneer of the devil that has been planted, planned for you. Today is your day of escape. I said today is your day of escape. And you will escape in Jesus' name. Praise God. That's not the end of the story. Because Jesus said, I am come. I've come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. All that were oppressed of the devil, Jesus heals. And today, whatever oppression of the devil you find in your life, whatever thing that an enemy is doing, today is your day. 
I say today is your day. Turn to your neighbor and say, today is my day. Because that's what God will do for you. I need to let you know that God is a good God. I said, God is a good God. Because you might read there, God has shut up our wound. God has shut up our God is a good God. God is a good God just telling us that she had no child. But God is a good God. And the Bible, we don't have all the time. I can show you, the Bible says the good Lord. The Bible says all, every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of light. With whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. And Jesus said, if you've been evil, know how to give good gifts unto your own children how much more lovingly how much more generously how much more will your heavenly father give good things to them that love him that do to them that tr that ask him and if you will ask today you will see the goodness of the lord in jesus name oh taste and see that the lord is good Blessed is the man that trusts in him. In verse, verse, verse 8 now, then said Elkanah, her husband to her, Anna, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten sons? Uh, uh, you see, Elkanah was feeling for Anna. I was saying, well, uh, look at the situation. Am I not better? Am I not better? I understand you are dear Elkanah. But I'm not looking for Elkanah. I'm looking for children now. Don't let the suggestions of the devil be cloud your vision. Whatever God has destined for you, you must have. And you must not settle for substitute. You see, if you are really hungry and somebody offers you money, you say, thank you for the money but I'm hungry if you are really hungry and somebody offers you water you say thank you for the water but I'm hungry there are some people they will take the water and they will leave the food for you everything you will get I said everything you will get whatever God has promised in scriptures and the Bible says all things are yours all things are mine all things are mine. Everything he has promised for you, you will have in Jesus' name. And so you find what he said in verse 9. So Anna rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh. And after they had drunk, now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and prayed unto the Lord. That's why we're here. And prayed unto the Lord. That's what we've been doing this month of January. And prayed unto the Lord and wept so your days of weeping are over. I said your days of weeping are over. You know, sometimes uh, just to help us, when you really believe the word of God, you will see the performance in Jesus' name to help uh, to help somebody. You might, uh, uh, we were in church again. And as we were in church, we were praying like this. And as we were praying, I just mentioned the fact that there's somebody there that had, uh, that had ulcer. And here I didn't know that there was, was a sister. Just mentioned that. And then the following week, the sister called, Pastor, it's me. It's me. The problem is resolved. Whatever challenge you have it will go in jesus name the god of wonders will visit you today is your day i said today is your day tonight is your night raw demonstration of tangible miracles is your portion in jesus name when we kick that devil out of your life he has no choice but to go I said he has no choice but to go. And we will kick him out in Jesus' name. And so you find here in verse 11, And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of us, if thou will indeed, if thou will indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, thank God, God cares. It says, if you will look on the affliction of your handmaid and remember me, God will remember you. And, and not forget your handmaid, but will give unto your handmaid a man child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass as it's coming to pass for you. As, the, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Anna, she spake in her heart. 
She spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. You see, she was praying in her heart. Her heart was, she had focused intensity. As you are here today, you are here between you and the God of heaven. You don't look at the person beside you. He was focused on God. She was, as it were, lost in prayer. And God gave her a solution. She was determined to get an answer. She was determined to win. And we are determined to win. Whatever has confronted you, you will not be a victim. You will be a winner. You are determined to win in Jesus' name. And the victory of the Lord will be your portion in Jesus' name. And so we find that, that eventually you know the story. That the Lord gave her a solution. Verse 14, and Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? But and put away thy wine from thee. And Anna said, No, I have not been drunken. I poured out my heart unto the Lord. And then in verse 17, then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. Go in peace. Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. You see, if she believed the word of the Lord that came from the heart, from the mouth of the, of the, of the servant of the Lord, she believed it. So the woman went away. And did heed, and her countenance was no more sad. She believed the word of the Lord to his servant. And when you believe the word of the Lord like that, you will not be disappointed. Because God watches over his word to perform it. And then the Bible tells us in verse 19, And they rose up in the morning early, and worshipped before the Lord, and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Anna, his wife, and the Lord did what? And the Lord did what? The Lord remembered her, ah, God will remember you. You see, God remembered Rich, God remembered Anna, he will remember you. God remembered Rachel, he will remember you. God remembered Zacharias and Elizabeth, he will remember you. Whatever you need from the hand of the Lord, God will bring it in Jesus' name. Verse 20, wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about that after Anna had conceived that she bare a son and called his name, what? Samuel, saying, because I have asked him of the Lord. And then, look at this in verse 27. For this child I prayed. For this child I did what? That's, that's the result of our prayer. That's the tangible result of our prayer. He said, this is what I prayed for. And this is it in my hand. For this child I prayed. Whatever you have been believing the Lord for this month, you will have the result. I said you will have the result. And the Lord has given me my petition which I asked of him. From test to testimony. From trial to triumph. Now, as we summarize this and then we get into prayer, there are, uh, there are a few things I want to summarize here. Number one is think true to solution. Think true to solution. You see, as we think about breakthrough, number one, you have to think true to solution. The fact is this, God's word is the answer to the questions of life. Satan is too small to stop the word of God. Satan is too small to stop the word of God. Whatever challenge you have in your life, God's word is the answer to the questions of life. And when you want miracles to happen, then it's, you have to think in your mind and say, look at, look at my situation. Anna could have said, well, my case is hopeless. What can I do now? What can I do now? And you, the devil messing with the mind. Don't you ever think like that. Don't you ever think your case is hopeless. Don't you ever think you are helpless? Don't you ever think you are helpless? Wherefore, we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Don't you ever think you will not make it? And so, get the loins of your heart and think true to solution. Think possibility thoughts. The possibility thought is that tonight I will get my breakthrough. Tonight I will be visited by the Lord. Tonight will not pass me by. Think miracle thoughts. Think 
think about your God. The Bible tells us for with God all things are the things that are, that are possible, that are impossible with men are what? Possible with God. And you will find that to be true in life. That many things are impossible with men. But thank God, we serve a God that knows no impossibility. And so think about the power of your God. Think about your God, it cannot fail. He will not fail. He does not change. The Bible tells us Jesus Christ, Hebrews chapter, look at Hebrews chapter 13. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and what? And forever is the same. When you think about the Lord Jesus Christ, that is always the same. He does not change in verse 8. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he's the same in the future. That means you are covered. Because time is broken into those three categories. There is the past, there is the present, and there is the future. And Jesus is the same. That means there's comprehensive coverage for you. Whatever you need. Jesus did it before. He's doing it now. He will do it in your life. And so think about the power of your God. He cannot fail. It does not change. He is more than enough. My God is more than enough. Say it out loud. My God is more than enough. Say it very well. Say it for Satan to hear. Say it for God to hear. He is more than enough. And because he is more than enough, he will carry you through in Jesus' name. The child of God is not to be pitied. The child of God is to be envied. God will visit you. God will move upon you. God will destroy the works of the devil in your life in Jesus' name. Mark it down. Whatever was impossible before, a change has come. It's your night of solution. It's your night of breakthrough. It's a night of victory. It's a night of dominion. You will have undeniable dominion in Jesus' name. That's what God will do. God is what God's word generates faith. God's word generates faith. And faith is the bridge between asking and receiving. God's word generates faith. Because, look at this, I want to show you something here. It says, look at the word of the Lord here, and, and see something from the word of the Lord. In Matthew chapter 21, Matthew chapter 21. And then I want you to see what faith will do. You see, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. That's how faith comes in Matthew chapter 21. And I want you to see the fact that, they see, faith is the bridge. It's the bridge between asking and receiving. And you must not doubt God. It's an insult to doubt your God. It's an insult to doubt the God, your creator. It's, a, it's an insult to doubt the one that redeemed you. It's an insult to doubt the God who loves you so much. In Matthew chapter 21 and in verse 22. Look at this open and see this. And all things, everybody shout all things. Say it very well. And all things whatsoever, you shall ask in what? In prayer. What is the next word you find? Believing. What will happen? You will receive. Faith is the bridge between asking and receiving. And if you will believe God today, you will not be disappointed. The second thing is this. See true to solution. You think true to solution. Don't let the devil confuse you that as though your God is weak. Don't let the devil confuse you as though you are forgotten. Don't let the devil confuse you as though God is not interested in you. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you, bring you an, into an expected end. And so think true. Look at the word of the Lord and then see true. See true to solution. You know, see true. See in spite of your challenges. Don't let the cloud of the problem cover your face. Don't don't let the cloud of the problem make you lose your mind. Don't let the cloud of the problem make you lose your confidence. Don't let the cloud of the challenge make you look your, uh, lose your confidence. You see, we read in uh, about uh, Samuel, and in verse 11, she vowed a vow. She wanted something from the Lord. He, she, she said, if you will look on the affliction of your handmaid, and you will remember me, and not forget me. And then she said, 
give unto me a man child. He said, there's that challenge, but I still see a man child. There's that challenge, but I still see the breakthrough. There's that challenge, but I see the victory in front. You must see your child. Maybe you're here, you don't have a child yet. A boy is coming. A girl is coming. And you see that child very clearly. You don't let the doctor's report be cloud your vision. You don't read the elsewhere. The, the doctor's uh, verdict destroy your, your faith. You don't let whatever has happened in the past uh, nullify your confidence in God. You see through. You see through. You've done an exam before and it appears you have, uh, it appeared you failed before. Then see through. Solution is yours. I said solution is yours. You will succeed in Jesus' name. You are born again to win. You are redeemed to reign. That's what God has commissioned us to be. See through. And as you see through very clearly, what you see, you will seize in Jesus' name. What you see, you will seize in Jesus' name. A miracle baby for the barren. A miracle baby for the barren. Healing for your body. Whatever has been sick, when we begin to mention the name of Jesus like this, the sickness will go. The disease will depart. He said, speak the word only that your, and your servant shall be healed. We speak the word of authority. And thank God, Satan understands authority. And when sickness understands the authority, haven't you read that sometimes he will say, and the disease departed. It's like you find somebody that was in a place and that person moves and departed. Sickness understands authority too. Whatever sickness that is, made, that is over there, when we give the word of authority like this, what will happen? It will, it will, it will go. And so it will be in Jesus' name. Now, take your picture from scripture. Take your picture from scripture. Don't look like, you see, here was Penina. Penina teasing Anna. And Penina making fun of her. And she would have taken a picture from the words of Penina. But she, she didn't do that. You see the same thing. Whatever the situation now. Don't take your picture from what the, 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 the people are saying. Don't take your picture for all the enemies are saying. The ridicule of the enemy. The jesting of the enemy. All the mockery of the enemy. That's not your picture. Your true picture is in scripture. And as you take your picture from scripture, you will cancel what is happening by what is written. Whatever is happening, we cancel it by the written word of God. Because forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Whatever is happening, we will cancel it today by what is written in Jesus' name. That's what God will do. And then, when you understand that there is no impossibility with God, and there is no impossibility for you as well. That's what the Bible says if you shall if you can believe all things are possible to what to him that believe it praise god i believe lord i believe lord i believe lord i believe and then the final thing you see think true to solution you see the second thing? What's the second thing? See through to solution. And the final thing, pray true to solution. Hannah prayed here. And you saw the kind of prayer she prayed. It wasn't like the, some people you see, they are praying and their mind is wandering here and there. She had focused intensity. She didn't just come to play. She came to get. She came to take. She knew that this was an opportunity. And she wanted a change that dirty day. And God granted it. Think true. Pray true to solution. She said, for this child I pray. For this child, I prayed. For this child, I prayed. You know, God can tell when people pray. The Bible says, Elijah, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed. God can tell when people pray. He can tell. And I prayed that there should be no rain. And then he did what again? He prayed. God can tell when people pray. And when you are really focused in your prayer and you see what you are expecting like this and you connect with the heaven, then the answer will drop in Jesus' name. 
if there is a besetting sin that ties you down. And that besetting sin says, as long as I'm here, you will never make spiritual progress. And that besetting sin, year in, year out, and you see the victory that Jesus has made for you because he's our righteousness. And the Bible says we are to reign in life by him and we are to have dominion over sin. Let not sin have dominion over you. You see that picture. You say this sin has got to go. And when you determine like that and you really pray, God will break the chain. I said, God will break the chain. And this is your night of victory. Every chain broken. Every fetter destroyed. Every yoke destroyed. And the prison doors opened. That's what God will do in Jesus' name. In James chapter 4, this is a verse you must never forget in your life. James chapter 4. James chapter 4. This verse will change your life. This verse, this verse of scripture, I'm really interested in this in verse 2b. It will, it will change your life forever. In James chapter 4, James chapter 4, what verse? Verse 2, and the second part of verse 2. And uh, look at what the Bible says here. You lost, I'm looking at, interested in the latter part of verse 2. It says here, yet you have not. Why? Why? Because the devil is too strong. Because the devil is, uh, you cannot overcome him. He says, you have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. Not a devil. There are not enough demons to stop the praying woman that believes God with all her heart. There are not enough demons to stop the praying man that believes God with all his heart. You have not because, because... That means where you will get to, it will be because you believe the Lord. If you will ask the Lord, something will come your way. And today, heaven is going to release great things into your life in Jesus' name. Many problems persist in life because we permit them. Many problems persist. Many situations persist because we permit them. But when you say no, it is no. When you say enough is enough, the devil has no choice but to do what? To clear out of the way. When you say no, it's like you here you are, you find the dog that is running after you. And then you run, the devil is, uh, the dog is running after you. But when you stop and turn around and say, stop, that devil fears and it goes back like that. When you, well, things persist because we permit them. If tonight you say enough is enough, enough will be enough. The problem of five years will be gone. The problem of ten years will be gone. The problem of fifteen years will be gone. Enough is enough. It will be so in Jesus' name. The glory of God will overshadow you. The presence of God is in this place. The power of God is in this place. The mind of God is in this place. There is enough anointing in the house to destroy all the works of the devil in Jesus' name. And so you believe the Lord. And then the word of the Lord says, Ask and you will receive that your joy may be. Now, I, I know you caught that, but look at your life now. What is it that if God, once God asks, my joy will be full? Look at your life now. What is it? That singular thing. When God asks it, my joy will be full. If you will believe the Lord, it will be so. I said it will be so. The word of God is very clear. God's promises will never fail. God's word will never fail. God's promises will never fail. He said, ask and it shall be given you. He said, seek and you will find. He said, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you? Whom if his son asked for bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asked for fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then been evil, no 
how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give good things to them that do what? Ask him. He wants to do it, but we've got to ask. And if you will open your mouth wide tonight, he will fill you in Jesus' name. And then, look at this now, Jeremiah 33, verse 3 says, he says, call unto me, and I will answer you. There's the guarantee of answer here tonight. He says, call unto me, and I will answer you. Who is going to answer? The unchanging God. Who is going to answer? The unfailing God. Who is going to answer? The mighty God. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You know what that means? It says, I will show you great and mighty things that you have never known. Maybe you have seen some great things before. You've seen some great miracles before. When it says great and mighty things you have never known, it means it will be greater for you. Greater miracles are coming. Greater wonders are coming. Greater signs are coming in Jesus' name. Now, this is the plan of God for you. This is your night of supernatural breakthrough through prevailing prayer. In a moment, we're going to go before the Lord and really talk to the Lord in prayer. But before we do that, you see, the hindrance, the major hindrance between God and man is sin. God wants to help man. God is too eager to help us. Then we can even ask for his help. That's why he said it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. Well, they're yet speaking our way here. But then iniquity separates between man and God. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. That's what the word of the Lord says in Psalm 66 verse 18. That's what that says. If there's sin in my heart, if there's unforgiveness in my life, then God will not hear me me. But why will you allow unforgiveness to hinder you from getting the best of God? Why will you allow sin to hinder you from getting what God wants to do? Think about this. A problem of 10 years he wants to solve in a moment of time. A problem of 15 years he wants to solve in a moment of time. But if you will allow sin to hinder you, that's not being wise. I will not allow sin. I will not allow sin to hinder me. And so, if there are sins in your life, you want to repent of them. If you have not known Jesus Christ, if you have not been born again, Jesus died for you. Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Every sin you have ever committed, Jesus died to take them away. And if you will look unto him, look unto me, all ye ends of the heart, and be saved. If you look unto the Lord today, he will take away your sins. He will wash away all your sins. He will was manifested to take away our sins. It was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And every work of the enemy will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Say, I'm ready. Are you really ready? Ready to pray? Ready to pray? Thank you. Those who are ready are getting up already. You are really ready to pray. God is going to visit you. I want you to lift up your voice to the Lord and thank him. And thank him for his word. And thank him for his word. And thank him for his word. If you are not born again today, you can be born again. If you are not born again, you can be born again. Your sins can be washed away. Your iniquities can be cleansed. Your life can be transformed. You can become a new creature in Christ today. You can become a new person, a new individual, a new species. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, everything becomes new. And that's what God will do today. If you're still living in sin, if you're still living in lying, if you're still living in adultery, if you're still living in fornication, if you're still living in masturbation, whatever you are living in that is contrary to the word of God. God wants to forgive you today. He wants to help you but don't let sin become a barrier. Don't let iniquity become a barrier. Don't let unrighteousness become a barrier. Don't let wickedness become a barrier. There's wickedness in your heart. There's wickedness in your actions. There, are, there is wickedness in your life. You are wicked today.
to your wife, your wicked to your husband, and you don't even think about it. How then will your prayers be answered? That be, that's the thing that is hindering. Now you will say, Lord, I'm sorry. I repent of my wickedness. I repent of every iniquity. I bring myself to you. Forgive my sins. Forgive my iniquities. Forgive my unrighteousness. And then when you confess your sins like that, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Every unrighteousness will be gone. Every wickedness will be gone. Every work of the devil will be gone. He will set you free. Free and free indeed. If the Son shall make you free, you'll be free indeed. If Jesus sets you free, you'll be free indeed. And you can repent of every sin at this time and the Lord will forgive you. 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 That's what the Lord will do. And the Lord will forgive you. He will write your name in the book of life. Whosoever covers his sins will not prosper. But if you confess them, you will have mercy. And forsake them, you will have mercy. God wants to show you his mercy. He wants to show you his compassion. He wants to show you his help. He wants to help man. He wants to help us. He wants to help us. This month of supernatural breakthrough. Get supernatural breakthrough in your spiritual life. That you are living the overcoming life. You rise above sin. You reign over sin. You have dominion over righteousness. And then you will be able to pray the prayer that prevails. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're still going to pray, but we want to deal with the problem of sin first. And then we we'll launch into prayer that brings the breakthrough. If you're here that today you say, Lord, I acknowledge my sins. I want to come back to you. I want to turn away from my life, from my old life. And good enough is January, the first month of a new year. You make a new, have a new beginning today. A new beginning in your life. If that is you, I want to pray for you. If that is you, or you're backsliding and you're coming back to the Lord, if that is you, I want to pray for you. All heads bowed and eyes closed. If that is you, just raise your hand and then I'll pray for you. Raise your hand. You want to come back to the Lord. God bless that hand. God bless that hand. God bless the, those hands. Please keep them up. Keep them up. Raise those hands up. Raise them up very well. Raise it up. If you are raising it up, very good. God bless you. If you are raising it to the Lord, you raise it well. Raise it well to the Lord. You raise it well to the Lord. For those of you that are raising up your hands, I want you to still keep your hands up as I pray for you. Just raise those hands up. And you really mean business. You say bye-bye to iniquity. Welcome righteousness. As you are raised up your hands, you tell the Lord, Lord, I'm sorry for my sins. Lord, I am sorry for my sins. Forgive all my iniquities. I repent of my sins today. I believe Jesus died for me. I know he died for me. And I accept his death on my behalf. The blood that is shed on the cross. Lord, I believe that blood was shed for me. Wash me with the precious blood. Cleanse me with the precious blood. And give me the power to go and sin no more. And then you will have the victory. And you will have the victory. Amen. Let's pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, for those who have raised up their hands, wanting redemption that Christ gives. One thing, the freedom from sin that Jesus gives. Lord, I pray for them now that you will forgive their sins in Jesus' name. I pray right now that the power of canceled sin will be broken from their lives in Jesus' name. Every walk of sin, of rising and falling, every walk of sin, of not being able to overcome sin, Lord, I pray right now, be released, be free in Jesus' name. The power of canceled sin be broken over your life now in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Father, for the answer. Now you are released to go and sin no more. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now that the barrier of sin is out of the way, it's time for your miracle. I said it's time for your miracle. You will cancel what is happening by with what is written. What the word of God has, has uh, given us. You take that stone and then you knock it at the Goliath. It comes down just like that. That's what God will do. I want you to identify whatever challenge you have in your life. And you are going to talk to God like Anna did. And you are really going to pray and focus on the Lord. And God will bring the victory in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Open your mouth and talk to you know your need. You know your need. Anna need, need, knew her need. And she said tonight that day was her day. That day was her day. And tonight is your night. Whatever is happening, cancel it with what is written. Remember, problems persist in life because we permit them. If we will overcome, if you say this problem will not continue with me, I kick that poor devil out of the way. I kick barrenness out of my life. I knock failure out of my life. I knock business failure out of my life. I knock that family trouble out of my life. You knock it away. That lack of uh, that, that uh, not being married, you pray the God who answers prayers will visit you. Whatever failure in exam, professional exam, you knock it out now. God God will supernaturally, supernaturally give you a breakthrough. Give you a breakthrough. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You focus on the Lord. 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 You really focus on the Lord. He will not fail. He will not disappoint. You have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. Your time of sorrow is over. Your time of weeping is over. Your time of sorrow is over. Your time of weeping is over. The shame of the devil over your life. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. That's the way Anna taught. And she prayed, oh God visit me. And God remembered her. Oh God remember me. And God remembered her. Oh Lord remember me. He will remember you. He will not fail. The sickness in the body will go that high blood pressure will go that diabetes will vanish from your life that kidney disease will go whatever the problem is got to go tonight it's got to go tonight it's got to go tonight at the mention of his word at the mention of the, the, the word of the Lord victory is guaranteed at the mention of that name dominion is guaranteed he sent his word and heal them he sent his word and healed them. The word of healing will produce healing. The word of deliverance will produce deliverance. The word of dominion will produce dominion. The word of freedom will produce freedom. You've got to be free in your health, spirit, soul, and body. You've got to be free. Your family has got to be free. Anybody chained down. Your child that is chained down. The child must be released. The child must be de 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 released. The child must be released. Anybody chained down. It's your night of dominion. It's your night of dominion. It's your night of dominion. Hannah prayed. She continued to pray. She continued to pray. She continued to pray. She continued to pray. She continued to pray because she was determined to win. She was determined to win. She was determined to win. Are you not determined to get a breakthrough tonight? Are you not determined? It's my night of supernatural breakthrough. It's my night of divine visitation. It's it's my night of abundant miracle. It's my night of my miracle child. It's my night of the miracle marriage. It's my night of the miracle job. It's my night of the turnaround in my family, in my business. It's my, it's my night of financial turnaround. It's my night. It's my night. Academic success. It's my night of a change of story. It's my night of a change of story. It's it's my night of a change of level. It's my night. It's my night. It's my night. My night of glory. My night of glory. My night of glory. My night of glory. She prayed. She continued to pray. 
She prayed, she continued to pray. She prayed, she continued to pray. She prayed, she continued to pray. She prayed, she continued to pray. You will not be limited. You will not be limited. And I refuse limitation. And I refuse stagnation. You must not be limited. You must not be limited. You will not be limited. Believe the Lord. Stagnation must be gone. Limitation must be gone. Barrenness must be gone. Failure must be gone. Jokes must be broken. And then God will visit us. And then God will visit his people. It's your night. It's your night. It's your night. Believe the Lord. Believe his word. Believe the Lord. Believe his word. Believe, 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 believe. The glory will fall. The glory of the Lord is coming down to break every chain, to break every chain. If you have never seen tangible miracle before, you will see one. In your own personal life, a definite one. A one, the one you have never seen before. In this month of supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural. Coming from heaven. Coming from God. God visiting man. God touching man. God blessing man. God remembering man. God transforming man. He's your night. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I believe tonight is my night. 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 There will be an explosion of miracle here. An explosion of power here. An explosion of the supernatural here. When God wants to visit his people, he wants to do it in a great way. He wants to surprise us tonight. And this three nights, uh, three days, great days of glory. Now, whatever you have prayed for, you will receive. From the hand of the Lord. And a tangible way in Jesus' name. Now you stretch out your hand to receive from God. Lord, I stretch out my hand. I stretch out my hand. I stretch out my hand. In Jesus' name. Now wherever the other thing, so I said stretch out your hand. You prayed about things now. If there's sickness there, we pray and you check yourself. If there's infirmity there, the things you couldn't do before, you will begin to do. Whatever the exam you failed before, you go back and you succeed. The child you didn't have before, We've been praying about that this month. The child has come. You're weeping before. The weeping is over. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. You are still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Lord Jesus, you do not fail. God, you are God. You change not. I pray right now, as we have come to you, as we have cried unto you, as we have called on your on, unto you, you know we know you will never fail. You did not disappoint Anna. You will not disappoint us. As your people have prayed, oh Lord, I pray, let there be the dispatch of the miracles now. Everywhere in Jesus' name. Name. Miracle to my front, miracle to my left, miracle to my right. In the name of Jesus, any sickness over there, I command that sickness now come out in Jesus' name. Any infirmity over there, I command that infirmity come out in Jesus' name. That diabetes over there, I take authority over you. I command you come out in Jesus' name. Any high blood pressure there, I command you by the power of the Lord. I say come out in Jesus' name. The spirit of fear, I come against you right 
now. That spirit of fear. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear. I cast that thing out now. Come out in Jesus name. The spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. I come against you right now. And I command the spirit of delay. Come out in Jesus name. I take authority right now. Over the spirit behind stagnation. Stagnation in that life. Stagnation in that family. I command that thing. Come out in Jesus name. The time has come for the spirit of limitation to go. Spirit of limitation. I take authority over you. I command you. Come out in Jesus name. I pray right now. Lord, your people will break forth. They will break forth. They will conquer. They will possess their possession. They will conquer new territories. In the name of Jesus, whatever the devil has stolen before right now, restoration, 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 restoration. In Jesus' name, now receive the abundance of heaven from God in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for the answer. We give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And yet a louder. Amen. Please be seated.